it is moving day. Not really, but I am going to move some stuff to storage because we have to clear out everything. And I don't know if you guys are like me, but my garage gets junky, my rooms get junky, just with stuff that we don't need. But I don't have time to sort through all of it now because we just really need to get everything moved out, everything updated, and then if I have time, I could sort through some stuff. But I'm gonna make a couple trips to the storage area. Oh, welcome to gray, our gray house vlogs. Um, it's cold today and the weather forecast even says it might be snowing on Wednesday. What? So that'll be fun. It's cold today, for sure cold today, but I need to get this done. I also need to run to the mall and get my rings inspected for the warranty. So several things to do. I could actually do it tomorrow. I'll probably do it tomorrow, but we'll see. Hey guys, I made it to the storage unit and I opened the gate by myself because last time when I came, the gate was like stuck open, so I didn't have to put in the code. So I put in the code, I got in, now I'm about to unload. It's sprinkling, but it's not raining, so let's hope I can get this done quickly. Okay, so focus, it's a little dark. This kind of goes back to my UPS days when I used to load packages and you had to balance your load out. You had to stack it like a certain way so it wouldn't fall. You had to be just like super careful. So anyway, that's what this is reminding me of and I'm out of shape and out of breath, but I know Marvin's probably going to come in here and like redo the whole thing. Like, oh, that's not, and it's also like paint, playing like a game of Tetris. Like, you know, choo, 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 you gotta like turn little, little figures, little, um, like the rectangle, you know, the, the L shape, the box, and you gotta like choo, 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 make it all fit. That's kind of what this feels like too. So I'm getting all this loaded up and it's very quiet because the Cowboys are playing, which I knew. And I just figured, okay, well, so the Cowboys are playing, hardly anybody will be here and nobody's here. So. Not that there's really anybody, been anybody like ever here when I've come before. There was one truck parked one time over there. I don't know what they were doing because they never came out. But, yeah, maybe they were rearranging like I need to. Now, I am inside Tom Thumb. My glasses are dirty, my clothes are dirty, and um, because I've been moving boxes. And I'm all decked out in Longhorn gear. But I'm getting Marvin some chicken noodle soup and some salad, and I just passed the salad, so let's go get the salad. Now, I've got him the salad. He likes the Caesar salad, and he wants chicken noodle soup. So it doesn't feel good. And I kind of want some pinto beans, like to make a pot of pinto beans, but that has carbs in it, and I really should try to focus on high protein. So maybe I'll wait for another week for that. Has anyone ever had the Hormel tamales? Do they taste any good? It's hard for me to imagine them tasting good compared to like fresh. I will admit, I'm a fan of Dinimore beef stew. What? What? I may have to try that. That sounds kind of good actually. So I said I'm trying to do low carb and I see Vienna sausages and it has two grams of carbs. So, for the whole can, serving size is the whole can. I'm gonna get some, because they're on sale for 79 cents. And I realize that it's probably considered like trash meat, like it's not probably the best, but I kinda want something different today, and I don't see any, I was trying to see if they have potted meat to see if, like how many carbs that has, because I only like potted meat, oh, I see it. Let's see how many carbs are inside. Okay, folks, here we go. Armor Potted Meat has, drum roll please, zero carbs. What? And I will eat the whole thing of Vienna sausages for sure, because I do like those. But typically I eat that with like saltine crackers. And then on the potted meat, I usually eat that like on a piece of bread and I'm not, 
eating bread today, so they'll just eat it out of the can. Kind of looks like cat food though, to be honest. So I just snagged some of these portable protein packs, the ham almond cheddar one, and it's 50% off. And so I checked the date to make sure it was still in date. And it's good until January, can't see it, but it says January 11th, so okay. So I've decided we're having nachos for dinner, which basically goes against everything that I just said because it includes beans, chips, but it does have cheese on it. So kind of, maybe keto, not really, it's not keto, but it's going to be delicious. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> legit, I'm like, somebody stole my car. Also, I'm trying to carry everything in one load. But legit, I'm like, where's my car? Then I remembered I drove Marvel's truck, so that's why I couldn't buy my car. That is why when I'm legit looking for a car for me, or when we looked for a car, like I had to, hang on, I gotta hold on to the steering wheel to get inside the truck. I'm like, no, I need to be able to like get in and out without like the use of a stepladder or somebody hoisting me up you know so anyway it's a little little fun fact for you when you look for a car make sure you can get in and out of it okay but I'm we're, we're in Texas so like people like trucks here and my husband likes trucks but yeah getting in and out of it is not that easy I legit came for two things Chicken noodle soup and Caesar salad. But I came home with all this. I'm here at Walgreens because I need to get Marvin some coffee and there was a coupon for a pantene so we got some pantene and oh, hand soap. And so I was just looking at the foundation but I, I don't know. I think I need to go to Sephora again and get a color matched or go to Ulta and let them kind of match me. But when you get matched at Ulta or Sephora, they're matching you to like the $38 a bottle stuff instead of the wet and wild stuff. So, did you guys know that Burt's Bees does foundation? I did not. Does anyone have one of these? Does it work? I'm surprised these slippers didn't sell. I mean, don't you want poo slippers? We can't do icicles on our tree because I have a cat. True story, I've never made a gingerbread house. So, maybe next year will be my year. Aw, look at this little tiny jar of Vaseline. I used to love flavored chapstick. Okay, I just finished shopping at CVS and I got everything that I came for and more. I bought those two little samplers. Did I show you? I don't know if I showed you or not, but these little chocolate samplers. They're only a dollar, so I thought Marvin could have one and I could have one. And bought the coffee, bought the soap, bought the Pantene stuff, and, but okay. So on the soft soap, you had to get a coupon from the center. And then there's this kid, I swear, she was punching in like, I told Marvin eight phone numbers, but really it's probably like three. But seriously, she was punching in like three phone numbers and I'm like, are these all your phone numbers? Like, they're not all gonna match. Like when you go up to the cart, the cart has to match. Anyway, whatever. I'm not the boss of you. So, I had to wait patiently for her to get done. Now I'm headed home, gonna make nachos. And we'll have nachos for dinner. Hey guys, I am just hopping on here to end today's vlog. I'm editing videos. I just posted to Instagram. I am catching up on some other videos that my friends have posted and trying to catch up on some Instagram comments. So let me know what you guys are doing and I hope you have a really great night. I had a pretty, I don't know why I'm yawning, but I had a pretty good day. Well, I guess I'm yawning because I'm tired, but I had a really good day today. I took a load, um, a pretty good sized load over to the storage unit. So that was awesome. And I went to the grocery store. I went to CBS. I made nachos for supper and they were yummy. And the way I make nachos, just so you know, I take a chip, put some refried beans on top, sprinkle some cheese, pop it in the oven, and there you go. So, really easy. Super easy dinner 
idea. And I, that's about it. Tomorrow I'm not, I'm probably not going into the office because I have a slew full of things to do. I need to get my rings inspected for the warranty. I need to mail off a few things and I need to, what else was on my list? Oh, do some tax stuff. I need to find out about my roof and yeah, I've got like several other things, but just boring. So not that the other things weren't boring and not that the boring things aren't fun. I'm just saying, it's just like, check the P.O. box. Like, duh, I'm going to be mailing something. So I'll be there and I'll check the P.O. box. So I hope you guys are having a great night and I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.